adaptation in plants. Observe and complete the chart. Include other plants from your own region too. We have plants, their habitats, types of root, characteristics of leaves and characteristics of stem. Lotus, its habitat is aquatic. Type of root is fibrous. It has large and round leaves with waxy layer. Stem is hollow and flexible. Cactus The habitat of cactus is desert. It has taproot. Leaves are modified into thorns and the stem is green and fleshy. Banyan The habitat of banyan is terrestrial. Root is taproot. Leaf has waxy coating on its surface. Stem provides support. Adaptation in aquatic plants. Visit various water bodies such as a river, brook, pond, lake in your surroundings. What differences do you observe between terrestrial and aquatic plants? Some of the aquatic plants are firmly rooted in the soil at the bottom of the water bodies. Their stems are submerged while leaves and flowers float on the surface. However, some plants are entirely afloat. Their roots are not anchored in the soil. Anchor means to penetrate. The surfaces of leaves and stems of many aquatic plants are covered with a waxy layer. Leaves of some aquatic plants are thin and slender like a ribbon. This shape helps them to withstand fast currents of water. Air spaces and stems and petioles of aquatic plants are useful for floating in water. Use your brain power. 1. Why does water trickle off lotus leaves? Answer. The surfaces of lotus leaves are covered with a waxy layer. Hence, the water trickles off its leaves. 2. Why don't the leaves of these plants rot in water? Answer. As the surface of leaves of aquatic plants have waxy coating, these plants do not rot in water. 3. Why are their roots short and fibrous? Answer. Many plants growing in aquatic habitats do not possess roots because there is little requirement for absorption of water and mineral salts. But few other aquatic plants develop short and fibrous roots only for balancing and fixation. Adaptation in Desert Plants Take two potted plants, one a cactus and the other a leafy plant. Tie plastic bags loosely around the leaves of these plants and keep them in sunlight from early in the morning. In the afternoon, Bring those pots into the classroom and observe them. Has the same quantity of water collected in both bags? No, both the bags do not show same quantity of water. Desert plants are either leafless or their leaves are like small needles or have been modified into thorns. As a result, those lose very little water by evaporation. The stem stores water and food and is therefore fleshy. The stems are green as they perform photosynthesis in the absence of leaves. These roots penetrate deep into the soil in search of water. There is a thick layer of a waxy substance on the stems of these plants too. Adaptation in Plants of Snowy Regions can you tell? In what way are sloping branches useful to plants in a snowy region? Plants of snowy regions 
mainly include conifers like deodar and pine. These trees are conical in shape due to their sloping branches. In the heavy snowfall and extreme cold in these regions, their conical shape prevents the snow from accumulating on the tree and the thick bark helps the tree to withstand the cold. Adaptation in Plants of Forest Regions A variety of plants, trees, shrubs and herbs are found in forests. These plants compete amongst themselves for sunlight. Hence, trees grow tall to get sunlight and climbers and vines grow to a great height with the support of trees. Spring-like tendrils on the stems of some climbers is an example of adaptation. Adaptation in grassland plants Diverse types of bushes and grasses are found in the grasslands. Fibrous roots of grasses prevent soil erosion. Grasses in the equatorial region are very tall. Animals like tiger, elephants and deer can remain hidden in these grasses. However, grasses in cold regions are very short. Animals like the rabbit are found in such grasses. Vast meadows are found in hilly areas as well as plains. Meadows means piece of grassland. Observe and discuss. Observe and note down the adaptations in the parts of plants like potato, Groundnut, Yam, Water Hyacinth, Aloe, Acacia, Carrot, Onion, Beet, Bitter Gourd, Grapevine, etc. and other plants in your surroundings. Plant and their adaptations. Here's a table showing plants and their adaptation. 1. Potato, yam and onions. Adaptations are modified stem to store food. 2. Ground nut. Adaptation, underground fruit. 3. Water hyacinth. Adaptation, hollow cavities in stem for floating in water. 4. Carrot and beet. Adaptation, modified root to store food. 5. Bitter gourd, grape vine. Adaptation, modified stem for support. 6. Aloe, acacia. Adaptation, leaves modified into thorns to reduce loss of water. Adaptation for ingestion of food in plants. Most of the plants are anchored in the ground and are autotrophic. However, plants like dodder, that is cascuta, are parasitic. The plant body of Dodder consists of yellow wire like stems. It is leafless and cannot perform photosynthesis. However, it has hostorial, that is, sucking roots for absorbing nutrients from the host plant. These roots penetrate up to the conducting vessels of the host plant to absorb water and food. Fungi do not have chlorophyll and cannot perform photosynthesis. They absorb food from starchy foodstuffs like bhakri and bread. They have root-like fibers for absorption of food. Plants need nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium for growth. Plants that grow in soil which is deficient in nitrogen like drosera that is sundew, venus flytrap, Picture plant, etc., fulfill their need for nitrogen by consuming insects. Adaptations are seen in these plants which serve to attract insects and hold them captive. My friend, the Internet. Collect information about plant adaptations from websites like www.mbgnet.net.
अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें